today we have a viewer requested video. Thanks Norma for recommending this Bible, the KJV Word Study Bible, and we are just going to get into a review. I have never opened this. Um, I ordered it from Amazon. So if at the end of this video you decide you want this Bible for your shelf, for your bookshelf, you can click the link in the description below the video. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Wendy Koop and on this channel we do Bible study, apologetics, theology, and sometimes a little cultural commentary. So today we are looking at the KJV Word Study Bible, 1700 keywords that unlock the meaning of the Bible. So first off, like I said, I got this on Amazon. This is a hardcover Bible. It is the King James Version, and this is published by Thomas Nelson. So it says Thomas Nelson KJV, and then it says Thomas Nelson right here on the spine. And then on the back, experience the words you, God used in scripture. The KJV Word Study Bible contains 1,700 Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek word studies to help you delve deeper into what God had in mind when he inspired the scriptures. No previous knowledge of languages is required. Presented in the beautiful and trustworthy King James Version, which we will do a video about another day. Every chapter of the Bible has word studies that will help you unlock the meaning of God's word. The KJV Word Study Bible is the best way to begin to experience the more vivid understanding you get when doing original, langu original language Bible word studies. So... It features the full text of the KJV Bible, 1700 easy to understand Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek word studies, plus thousands of cross references to word studies, book introductions, in text subheadings, words of Christ in red. That's important for some people, so um, it does have Christ's words in red. Indexes by Strong's number, by English word, and book by book, a concordance, and a full color and full color Bible maps. And then it shows you the actual text size. I have no idea what font point this is, um, but I will try to find out and put it in the description of the video. And then there's a link here to receive a free download. So this Bible retails for $44.99. I don't think that's how much I paid for it. But just know that if you were to go and pick it up in a store, that it's probably going to cost you about $45. So let's open this up. And it's got a dust jacket. Uh, the actual hardcover looks exactly like the dust jacket. So I would say if you wanted to take the dust jacket off, you would be fine. There is a presentation page, which is pretty standard in a Bible. I'm glad to see that. And then we come to the table of contents. So it tells us about abbreviations of the books of the Bible and a forward. And then it goes right into the Old Testament, then the New Testament. And then you have the English word index, the scripture passage index, Strong's Hebrew number index, Strong's Greek number index, and the concordance. And so, as promised, it goes right into the abbreviations of the books of the Bible. And then here is your foreword. It tells you why word studies are helpful. Features of the KJV Word Study Bible. And then resources for further study. And so, while this Bible is designed to be, in their words, a handy, readable, and enjoyable introduction to Bible word study... Um, it's just, even though it contains 1,700 selected word studies, that's just a fraction of all the words used throughout the Bible. We know this. The Bible is translated from more than 8,600 distinct Hebrew and Aramaic words and more than 5,500 Greek words. So what you have here is just a taste. And so it, in, it recommends that when you're ready for more exhaustive treatment, of biblical words, you could go to Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, Young's Analytical Concordance of the Bible, 
Vine's Complete Expository Dictionary of Old and New Testament Words, and Mounts's Complete Expository Dictionary of Old and New Testament Words. So there you have it. And then we go right into the Old Testament. And there is an introduction. This reminds you that is the first book of Moses called Genesis. And there's a very, very short introduction here. What the first part of Genesis talks about, what the word Genesis means, um, and words to watch out for, and where those words are cited. And then it goes into the actual biblical text. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And for words that it wants to draw your attention to, those are highlighted. And then you will see in this blue box, in these blue boxes, more about the words, the meaning, and how they're used in other cross-references for the Bible, or for that word in the Bible. So, but otherwise, you have a KJV Bible with word studies. So that is really what we're looking at here, the third day, the sixth day, the giving of food. So let's turn to a random page. Okay, so let's look at the first book of Chronicles, because why not? So it gives an introduction to the first and second Chronicles um, and how they cover the same period of Jewish history described in 2 Samuel through 2 Kings, but the perspective is different. And it tells you the words to watch out for, which are generations, genealogy, peace, minister, and number. And then, for example... If you've never read Chronicles, it starts with the generations from Adam to Abraham. And it draws your attention to Japheth. And that's in 1 Chronicles 1.5. Um, he is one of the sons of Noah. One of Noah's three sons. And brother to Shem and Ham. And it, so it gives you... Um, one five talks about Japheth and what, why he's important, and basically a little bit of background as to who he is. So that's just, you know, one thing. And then it, verse forty eight talks about river. And when Samla was dead, Shaul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. So it wants you to mind the word river. And then this little box continues on to the next page in this box before it goes into uh, the word town from chapter 2, verse 23. So that's pretty much how this goes. I'm actually kind of looking for a map here, but I think the maps might be in the back. So let's see. New Testament. Let's turn to... Oh, here's uh, the book of Luke. So as you can see, Christ's words are in red. Um, so this is chapter 15, where Jesus talks about a lost sheep, a lost coin, and a lost son. And I'm going to go to one of the letters of Paul, specifically the Galatians, because I'm looking for a map. Now, in a lot of Bibles, there are maps interspersed throughout a book like Galatians because it is a letter to the church at Galatia and it's helpful to know where that is and when on the timeline this occurred but this Bible doesn't do that so I'm going to instead head towards the index so we have the English word index um, so for example fear Psalm 118, 4, um, it gives you the Hebrew word for that version of the word fear and what it was in Hebrew or what it is in Hebrew. So scripture passage index, Strong's Hebrew number index, and we won't go over how to 
use that, but the Greek number index and the concordance. So what I'm looking for are those maps. Here we go. I would say I'm surprised that they're in the back, but I'm really not because the the Bible I grew up with was the KJV and all the all the maps were in the back of that particular Bible. So um, this is pretty much the same. So the world of the patriarchs, Exodus and the conquest of Canaan, land of the 12 tribes, kingdom of David and Solomon, Jesus ministry and Paul Paul's missionary journeys and then Jerusalem in the time of Jesus. So what I wished was in here, um, I know it's not technically a map, but what I wish was in here was actually a diagram of what the temple looked like during the time of Solomon. Um, and then what the temple looked like during the time of Jesus, just for uh, compare and contrast purposes. And then at the back here, it says the New, New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, um, by James Strong is uh, the perfect companion resource for further study of Bible words. And I would agree that if you want to do further word study, you should get a Strong's Concordance. Now, this KJV Word Study Bible seems to be packed full of word studies, but I think you would get the most out of your word study if you were to combine whatever Bible you have with a Strong's Concordance as well as a Strong and Vines uh, dictionary. Now, depending on which Strong's Concordance you get, there might be a dictionary in there. Um, but again, do what your budget allows. And there, of course, are always links to the resources that I recommend in the description of the video. So, what do you think about the KJV Word Study Bible? This is Although this is a good Bible, it is not a Bible I'm going to keep on my shelf. So I'm actually going to donate this to my local church and bless someone else with that. And if this video has been valuable or helpful to you in any way and you like more of the same, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I am, I am eternally grateful for all of my subscribers and I thank you so, so very much. Um, make sure you like the video, leave a comment below, let me know what you think of the KJV Word Bible, Word Study Bible, um, and do you have a KJV Bible on your bookshelf? I want to know, inquiring minds want to know. Again, my name is Wendy Koop, and YouTube thinks that you'll enjoy this video next, so let me know if they got it right. Until next time, bye!